Hello Culers, welcome to the channel. In this video, I will talk about the latest news concerning our club FC Barcelona. Just watch this video till the end without skipping to know everything in details. Before I proceed, just drop a like and a comment. Subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon and select all. This will help me to continue my work. According to CIES Football Index and Wiscout data, so far this season Lamine Yamal is the best U23 dribbler in the top five leagues. Inigo Martinez could be a starting player in place of Andreas Christensen. The new signing is a danger for him, mainly because of the Spanish player's left leg, which is an advantage, reports Jordi Gill. Now, according to Sport, Lewandowski is 100% ready and will be a starter against Real Sociedad this coming Saturday. While the veteran striker gained some play time towards the end of the clash against Real Madrid, he was unable to feature in the starting 11 due to the risk of a relapse. Now that he is declared fully fit, a starting position versus La Real is anticipated. Pedri has completed today's training session with the group. In a positive update, Harvey Miguel of AS is reporting that Barcelona midfielder Frenkie de Jong will return from his injury this weekend against Real Sociedad. However, he will only play 20 minutes. The wife of Ilkari Gundogan denies the rumours of their family not receiving support and help from the club when they first arrived. Via her IG channel, she also denied the news that the club didn't support them for accommodation in Barcelona. However, Gundogan's wife, Sara, has denied these rumours in a recent conversation. It's a completely fake news. We are really happy and we had so much support from the club and the staff, Sara replied. Reports from Sport are claiming that Girona have not forgotten about Oriol Romeu. They are looking to re-sign him in 2024. Now, the two clubs, Real Madrid and Barcelona, are in competition for 14-year-old wonderkid Guillermo Ruck, as per a report from Sport. While the player does not play in Brazil, he is considered one of the players with the highest ceiling from the country. He currently deploys his trade in midfield for Real Valladolid and is ready to take the next step in his career. According to reports from Sport, Barcelona manager Xavi Hernandez sees the left wing to be a priority for the upcoming summer transfer window, for the squad sorely lacks options who can play as a pure winger down the left. Savio, thus, is a player who highly interests Barca as per the aforementioned report, with sporting director Deco said to value him for his versatile nature, in just 11 league appearances for Girona this season, the 19-year-old Brazilian sensation has scored three goals and provided four assists. Further, he has created four big chances and averages one key pass per game. Marc Benol is considered by the club as the great hope to fill in the shoes of Busquets. The 16Y. Dotto recently became the third youngest player ever to play for Barca Athletic. Deco likes him a lot. The coaches predict a long career for him at Barca, reports Tony Juan Marti. According to Sport, Chelsea have made some crucial ground in their bid to sign Barcelona target Florian Woltz in the coming future. It appears the Premier League giants have made contact with Bayer Leverkusen, seeking the possibility of signing their star attacker. Joshua Kimmi is unlikely to sign a new contract with Bayern this year, as he has many sporting-related doubts and isn't feeling comfortable enough at the club. If he ups for a move away, Barcelona, Man City and Madrid would be the options for him, reports Kerry Howe. As things stand, Lionel Messi remains crossed with Laporta and his management, majorly for the way he was treated during the summer he left Barcelona. This has been reported by El Partidazo de Cope, which suggests that the distance between the two parties is tremendous. This lack of harmony between Messi and Laporta could complicate things for Barcelona if they are to invite the Argentine back to Catalonia for a farewell game. It was reported earlier that Barca are planning to host a farewell game for Messi once the renovation of Camp Nou is completed. But until then, the two parties are in a very precarious situation and it appears Laporta still has a long way to go before he can bring back things to normal. That's all I have in this video. Just drop a like and a comment. Subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon and select all. This will help me to continue my work. See you all in the next video next day.